In today's Madden 18 video, we're going to be taking a look at how to play defense in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to today's video. If this is your first time checking out my channel, I want you to do me a favor and just leave me a comment at the end of the video and let me know, number one, what is your name, and number two, what did you think about today's video? Today's video is all about defense, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at some gameplay here. I'm going to uh, probably watch probably about the first quarter or so, and I want to talk a little bit about uh, defense and really specifically what are ways that you can improve your defense? So I got about four to five things that I really want to hit on. And the first thing I want to talk about is the overall perspective of defense and what you're trying to accomplish. Because here's here's kind of the problem that I see with most people when they play defense is they don't actually have a goal. Um, their goal may be to shut the opponent out. Their goal may be to um, you know have fewest turnover or have the most turnovers. I mean, it's just very different different goals, and the problem with that is when you don't have a clearly defined goal, oftentimes you will struggle. You will struggle executing it because number one, you don't have it defined, and number two, um, so then you know if you, so then what will happen is you'll just kind of uh, your goal will change every drive, and that can't happen. Because if your goal changes every drive, and if your goal is different, then that means your tactics, your strategy, the way you're actually going to accomplish the goal has to change as well. So the goal and the tactics should always be the same. And so for me, my goal when I'm playing defense in Madden 18, my goal is to um, force my opponent, force my opponent to score touchdown or score uh, field goals instead of touchdowns. That's the only thing that I really want to accomplish. And if I can do that, if, if I can just hold my opponent to field goals, to me, I've done my goal. And so what that means is um, a lot of time, a lot of my time on my defense is spent trying to figure out how can I force my opponent to score a field goal as opposed to score a touchdown. So I got to, and you basically work backwards. So what you want to accomplish is, I want my opponent to have to kick a field goal. So what does that mean? Well, that means a couple things. The first thing that it means is I can't allow my opponent to score one play touchdowns. They have to drive the ball up the field. Um, so what I've got to do is I've got to figure out tactically how am I going to accomplish that. So for me right now, um, it's from this uh, New England 3-5 uh, wide 9 or 3-5 wide, I'm sorry. And I really like this formation. Um, let me see here, make some quick adjustments. We'll take a timeout. Um, the other reason, the other thing that that means though, is that means it should affect my coverage shells. Um, because of my decision to play the way I'm playing, right? I, it, it should affect how my defensive coverage is designed. So for me, because of this, I run a lot of um, passive, passive pressure. So what that means by passive pressure is I try to only blitz at, you know, at most four to five guys, really never more than that. Another thing that means is most of my covered shells have too deep um, because I'm trying to force my opponent to take field goals. And this is really important that you understand this. Most people, most people will change their game plan as the game goes on and i really do i think this is a big big miss for a lot of people because whenever you try to do that whenever you try to change your game plan up um, it makes it very very difficult to stay consistent and so what's what's a lot of people going to do and let me just break this down for you just really quickly just hang with me here real quick most defenses or most offenses are going to score not because their offense is so good but because the defense blows the coverage, okay? Stay, stay with that point. That's a really, really big deal because if it is true, and I believe it is, that most offenses will score because of that reason, then that means that the defense's job is to not make mental mistakes, not make mistakes in coverage. We can give up seven yards. We can't give up 70 yards. And this bend but don't break style has always been effective for me. Um, you can use pressure, but pressure is not the end-all, be-all. A lot of people in Madden, a lot of people in Madden think that pressure is the way to success. Pressure is is neutral. 
it really doesn't matter if you get pressure or not. What matters is do you stop the opponent, right? And so I think that's something a lot of people just miss. They just completely don't even think about when in the course of a defensive drive is a couple things. And you have such an amazing opportunity defensively because defense is a game of – when you're playing defense, it's a game of chess. It really, really is. And um, and as you're playing um, – oh, one second, let me make this, let me make this adjustment here. So as you're playing defense here, it's a game of chess, and you got to figure out, you know, what are your moves? What what is the what is the move on the board for you right now? But you can't make can't make mistakes. Like right there, I was really really close to making a mistake, and a lot of times it's because you try to click on and make something happen. For me, my biggest thing is two things. Number one, I blitz too much. Okay, number one, I blitz too much, and then number two, I um, oftentimes find myself trying to lay hit sticks on people. Don't do that. Just make the tackle. And those are the tactics. Those are the things that if you do those things, you will find yourself much, much better suited. So all this philosophical talk to say, um, what we're really trying to do, I feel like once you get inside the 10-yard line, I can really put it put you down. So we're just trying to keep them from making a big play. And then we're going to go to the 3-4 to the, uh, solid, and we're going to call this play clamp double goal. My opinion, the best goal line play in the game. And what this is going to do for me is it's oftentimes going to stop majority of what people are going to do uh, offensively in the red zone. So there's another quarterback scramble. Um, but that's what we're really trying to accomplish. And again, inevitably, they will. we will give up some touchdowns in the red zone. You, you will. That's just the way the game works. But by and large, the strategy of forcing them to drive forcing them to to move the ball up the field and not make mistakes. A lot of people will struggle with that because because um, what's going to happen is they're going to get excited, right? They're going to get excited, and what that means is they're going to try to force plays that they're, that's not open. They're, they're going to try to force things. I do it myself on offense. You know, they're going to try to force an out route that's not open, or they're going to try to force a post route that's not open. They're going to try to force these routes deep down the field that they should not be throwing by any means. Okay. And um, when they go to do that, that's when they're in trouble. That's when you've really got them defensively, is if you can hold them to do that stuff. Here's it should be an interception, but it wasn't. It should have been a turnover right there. But now you see, now we've got him in a field goal. And uh, if you want to see, if you want to know the reason it's it's important to hold your opponents to field goals instead of touchdowns, if you go back and watch the Pittsburgh Steelers Sunday night game against the Detroit Lions, that the Lions did not score a touchdown. They, they, they scored a lot of field goals, and their offense actually looked pretty good at mo most of the game. But they didn't score a touchdown. And because of that, because of that alone, I believe that's why the Pittsburgh Steelers walked away with a win. And that's a lot of games that are like that. So, again, if you can just get that as your goal – and you can just trade off, boom, you know, blow after blow after blow. And you will find it makes stopping your offense easier. When you limit your focus, you narrow it down to one thing. What is the one thing I want to accomplish? The one thing I want to accomplish is I want to hold my opponent to a field goal as opposed to a touchdown. And then you reverse engineer that. And every call that you make defensively is designed to having to force your opponent to score a field goal as opposed to scoring a touchdown. If you do those two things, it should affect your play calling to where you are now calling cover four more. You are now not blitzing as much. You are now, you know, really, really tactical in how you use your plays. That stuff is what's going to really make a difference. I'm telling you, it's going to really make a difference in your defense. So, anyways, all that to say, guys, just define your goal and figure out, you know, what is it that I want to accomplish. And if you figure that out, Oftentimes, it's a lot easier to accomplish it because you now have a laser-focused target. But if you want to learn more about defense, specifically in Madden 18, uh, I would be happy, happy, happy to show you and talk with you more. Uh, what I would recommend you to do is to check out my premium membership. If you haven't heard of my premium membership, essentially what it is, is it is a um, complete guide to Madden 18 talks about offense defense it comes with a one hour update video every week and it also comes with six fully uh, developed offensive and defensive ebooks 
Um, that's something that you can really check into, something I really think uh, could really get your game better. So be sure to check that out. Everyone that's had the premium membership, from my perspective, has seen really, really solid results. So you can check that out in the description below this video. But otherwise than that, guys, if you're new, thank you for watching the whole video. And do me a favor and leave me that comment at the end of this video so that I can get that data. And I would love to meet you.